can tell you, huh? you know, do you remember the last time that I wore tails, Mother? Because I don't, I don't even know where they are. Oh, Jennings keeps track of all that, dear. Don't worry. Just be home in plenty of time. Well, I'm not even sure I want to go to all the trouble, Mother, but I thank you anyway. Go to all what trouble? Oh, hi. Um, seems that Larry has swung us an invitation for the royal reception tonight. Oh, that's wonderful. I don't even know if I want to go, Ma. I don't even know if my tailcoat fits me anymore. Oh, of course it does. Anyway. Well, not that much, anyway. Oh, Stephen, come on right now. This is a treat. I'm going to fly. I'm going to make a hair appointment. This is an emergency. What are you so excited about? You don't give a damn about the royal family, anyway. Well, at least this time it's not our royal couple, anyway. We don't have to be that impressed. We just go, relax, and enjoy ourselves. How are we going to enjoy ourselves in all that stiff formal wear? Unless, of course, you just want to get dressed up to impress some special man. You saw right through me, didn't you? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is one man in particular that I'd like to impress. Who's that? My darling husband. Up with a set of tails for you. Down at the gatehouse, sir. Well, thank you, Jennings. That's very nice of you, but I won't be going to see you. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Why not? Well, I don't think it's going to happen. Ned, why would your father put everyone through all of this trouble if he wasn't serious? Beats me. But I'll be the one amazed if you actually mm. end up shaking the prince's hand tonight. Mm. What? Mm. I never was able to get these damn little buttons. Who the hell ever invented these? Boiled shirts with no buttons of their own. Uh oh, don't say one word, not one word. What are you hanging out in the entryway for, anyway? Helping father with what the devil have you got on your face? It is none of your business. I just couldn't finish at the beauty parlor. Oh, nonsense. That's her real face. The rest is all makeup and mirrors. It's not funny, Edward. It's not funny at all. <laughs> it's here tonight. <laughs> look at my dear queen of my heart. You look gorgeous, mother. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Not me, dear. Look at your wife. Monica, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. As an objective observer, I would just like to say that all four of you make me proud to be a member of this family tonight. Grandmother and Aunt Monica redefine elegance and style. Grandfather and Uncle Alan look like the real princes. Well, thank you, Ned. At least uh, you have the easy job. You just stay here and wait for a call from us reporting on the quality of the shrimp and the wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see what the uh, Lordship classes are wearing. Hello? I have some uh, extraordinary news. Uh, most unfortunate. Uh, quite incredible. Well, what is it, Larry? What's wrong? Somehow, someone, for some as yet unknown reason, has slashed... Hey, I must have done it. No, no, I saw it when... Weasel out of this. That's the damnedest thing. Here we are, all dressed up and not even an opera to go and catch some shut eye in. <laughs> well, as Thomas Jefferson and some of his friends would say, we Americans don't need kings or princes to have a good time. We're all dressed up, let's hit the town and have a ball. Alan, that's <laughs> a wonderful idea. Have I told you in the past few hours that I love you? No, try me. <laughs> well, I just did. I think this is a wonderful idea. Well, let's get the coats. Here we go. We don't need royalty to have a good time. Here. What is wrong? The loving wife act doesn't pass inspection, Monica. Not by me, no. anyway. Wake up, Ned. Why don't you call about Dawn Winter? Take a pretty girl out of the down, okay? Well, we're going to have a party.